Good morning everyone, it's Jelani. The morning scripture came from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 12. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to give you thanks for another morning, another day of life. Another moment we can hear the birds chirp, we can see the sun rise, we can take another breath, we can appreciate your creation. And this is something we should be thankful for. And as you said, whatsoever things are lovely, pure, true, what, whatsoever things are good, report, etc. These are the things we ought to be thinking on. And I pray that you help us to think on these things, dear Lord, all the many blessings that you have given us so that our minds are not taken away with the cares of this life and become um, smothered or our hearts become heavy or any such thing because of those things. What we, we should not be thinking on, we don't want to um, dwell on these things, dear Lord, we want to make sure that we are living a life that is well pleasing unto you and doing this through faith and through belief that you are the god that rewards those who diligently seek you and search after you with our whole hearts and this is what we ask that you do in us lord jesus that you reign in our hearts purify our minds our souls our bodies so that we can be used as instruments of righteousness whilst we dwell, dwell here in this mortal life. And in the life to come, we shall be perfected in you, having put off corruption and put on incorruption, dwelling with you in your eternal kingdom forever and ever. So we thank you for this knowledge. We thank you for the wisdom and I pray that you give us the understanding of it all. Although we know that whatever you give us understanding of, it's just a it's just a it's just a start of it, dear Lord, because our minds cannot even comprehend at this moment those things that you have in store for those who love you. And we pray that we love you forever and ever. Help us always as we go through our tests and trials of life. Bless those who bless and um, help those who are in need, dear Lord. And um, as always, I just pray that our children also are blessed in the knowledge of who you are. So when they are of age, they shall not neglect nor reject you. Lead us in spirit and in truth in your word this morning as we ask each and every morning, Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, we pray. Amen. Okay. So... First Corinthians thirteen twelve says, For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. Amen. All right. I believe one scripture says, Blessed, blessed are those who have not seen but believe right um and um i can understand why it says that right because if you think about it now a lot of people might look on those who believe on jesus christ and think that something is wrong with them because it's like who is this man that you believe on who came in the earth approximately over two thousand years ago why is it that you still believe in that this guy is your salvation why you believe that this guy is the manifestation of god in the flesh um why do you think that you are you can be blessed with a thing called eternal life and the holy spirit and, and an eternal kingdom we can understand <coughs> if so why somebody would have that chain of thought because first of all they, they do not know who christ is second of all they have not been blessed with the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of what or who our God is, what he has done for us, who created us, 
who saved us. So we we can't take for granted that um, the knowledge of Jesus Christ um, is something that we ought to be thankful for because many walk around in darkness not knowing the light. And even um, all of, well, I can't talk for myself, I, I was in darkness at one point in life until the true light came and sh like it shone and alleviated the darkness of what I believed I thought was truth, right? And um, opened up my understanding to what truth really is. And this is found in Jesus Christ. And I always ask people to um, just do this exercise, right? Um, if I would normally ask, okay, if you don't believe in Jesus, at least have you read just read of who he is and what he done and then i will ask the question based on what he did right based on the record and what he taught right wouldn't it make sense that if everyone in the world follow this one man right even if you don't believe on him it wouldn't it make sense if everybody followed this man if the world would not be a better place the man what told you not to um lost after your neighbor's wife the, the the man will tell you to love one another in perfect love right loving even your enemies right the one will tell you to forgive one another right think i just i can like list them out but even those those what three things that i said think about it if every single person said you know what let me just do that what that person said would would not the world be a, a, a better place? Wouldn't it be more pointing towards goodness than destruction, which we see it is headed on to now, right? When it says, oh, when he said no, from the beginning it was so, because he made them male and female, and the two shall become one flesh, right? For the sake shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Wouldn't it be better if we had household with one father one mother raising children right uh, children are under their mother and father instead of this all over the place thing and people having children with just random just randomly right just think about those few points right as i said we even know even though our eyes are open or even though our knowledge and wisdom is being added onto by the revelation of jesus christ we still know in part because our minds cannot begin, as I was praying um, before, our minds cannot even become, can, cannot even begin to comprehend those things that the Lord have in store for us. Our, as in, our minds now are limited to our reality, which is creation. We don't even know the, the heavenly things as we are, right? We know some things which are revealed unto us because we know that even right throughout the scripture there are heavenly visions that are revealed um throughout right and um yeah but we don't know everything that's transpiring there are, are we are limited but as i said in the day that our lord jesus christ does come back for us and redeem us from this corrupted state into that perpetual eternal incorruptible perfect state right giving us a spiritual body um, we abide in with the Holy Spirit and in him forevermore then we're going to be we're going to know what we ought to be knowing right which is the truth well what how can I put it it's like we're, we're going to be in his presence right we, we won't be um just believing on him um these things that we do um, now so certain things are going to pass away because we're going to be in his perpetual presence forevermore in that time to come right post the judgment and those who love him will be with him forever right <clears throat> so i like how this um the scripture just sums it up for we see through a, gl a glass darkly right which makes sense but then face to face that is what we're looking forward to we're looking forward to the return of our king and this is a king that came in the flesh died was buried and on the third day he rose again in the glory of our god our heavenly father right and he shall come again and judge the living and the dead 
And um, as it says, now I know in part, but then shall I know even as I am known. So this is what we look for. And as I said, it's just encouraging this morning and it's something that we can ponder and think on and think on these lovely things, right? And as I said, anything that we we lack in, we know that Jesus Christ will, will give us. <coughs> so yeah, I'm going to leave it at that this morning. Any questions, any comments, you can comment in the comment section or send the questions in to the word at eachreach1.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. So have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.